Oh, how you doing? Startled me there for a minute. I come around here to uh, do some work, and I, every time I come around here and look down at the river, I always uh, start daydreaming. <laughs> Watching the river, watching the birds, listening to the quiet. So, I wanted to talk about, I wanted to do one thing and talk about one thing. And that is YouTube. Where to start? Well, obviously I've known about YouTube for years and years and years because I watch YouTube clips like everybody else. But I've only been publishing since the 1st of December last year. And, you know, before I started this, I did a lot of research. And um, if it's okay with you, I'm going to do some little bit of work as we talk. Is that okay? So, yeah, I started off, what, what this is, is a, I made this box. You can see there's like a little, like a bar inside. I made it for the birds to sit on. But I think I've only ever seen one baby go in there. You know, it left the nest and sat up there, and the mom went to feed it for there. birds. But they're not using this, so I thought I was going to divide this up into three. So they can go, one can go in here, one can go in here, and one will go in the front. So while we're talking, I'll do some work. So have a seat, relax. So. Going to cut that bar out because I want to use it for the perches. So, what about um, YouTube? I guess there's a positive and a negative about YouTube. What I like, you know, you know, when you work it, when you're making stuff in YouTube, you're dealing with the, the algorithm that they have and the de dealing with the software and stuff. You know, I'm quite an analytical person. I can watch something for a long time and I'll start to see a pattern. And just the other day I read something, it's, I can't remember who made the quote, but they said the, um, you know, creativity is the art of seeing patterns. Anyways, watching YouTube the analytics, I, um, you know, you see patterns and sometimes I think I'm being held back, you know, like the, the views that one, or the ability for people to see me is being held back. And the reason I say that is because when you watch the graph, it's like a bar graph, you get a, you know, so many views per hour. You have a box on the right, so many views per minute, then it goes to, to per hour, and then within that, 20, uh, 48 hours. When you start to see patterns, for a while it was like when it got to 450 views per hour, it would just drop. Stay there for two or three days, go back up, hit 450, and drop. And this one, I just watched this. I mean, I tried talking to YouTube about it. But I, I, I asked for them to look, and I wouldn't even get a reply back, so I just stopped. The other day, it went, I got it, they must have done something, because it went back up, it went up to touch 1,000, it stayed just below 1,000, and then it's, it's come back down to like 600, so I guess, I don't know if I'm, it's just a pattern that looks un unusual. In the first nine months, when I was growing very slowly, I see the pattern, and then later I seen it, um, do that. But that's the negative. On the positive side, I've seen a lot of good things. Um, and the, the main one that I think I think about a lot is, you know, when, I look, when you look in the statistics, you can see that people from around the world are viewing my stuff. Like, probably every country that has internet, maybe, you know, including China. Now, China does not have internet, but you can see when you look in the statistics, it says country of origin, and it has all the countries. Obviously, it never says China, but it says there's a country that says unknown. So, so I want to say to all the people from around the world who watch my stuff, thank you. You know, here I am in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm like an hour and a half from the cent from Bangkok, probably center city, an hour and a half drive north. And then the main main highway is way over there, but I come over here in the village, so there's a river, rice fields, quiet. I live by myself. And here I am making videos in the middle of nowhere, and I have a really slow internet connection, but it gets up and uh, 
So I'm, here I am in the middle of nowhere communicating with the whole world. And people are interested in what I am have to say and what I'm producing. So YouTube's amazing for that. So let me get busy and I'll talk as we go, okay? I don't know what happened to winter. Yeah, so when you think about... I think it's amazing that YouTube is, you know, gives us the opportunity to publish video of whatever we decide to make about. You know, I live here so I make a lot about nature, what I'm up to every day why I'm here. But now I can still share my stuff for living in this peaceful environment with people all over the world. Share my life. So what I'm going to do is divide this middle piece here up, divide this up, and then section it off like so. There'll be a box here at this end, one in the middle and one at the end for the birds, okay? What do you think? So I'm just going to, I was going to go get the nail gun and secure it in with the nail gun, but I'm too lazy to bring the compressor around here. So what I'm going to do is put a, a small screw, or as small as I can get anyway, that will go through here and catch the, the divider inside. Have to be it's the, got it, but it don't have to be perfect. Yeah, that's a little bit better. My head was chopped off. You chopped my head off. So that's a, I put a screw in the, one in the top and one in the bottom, but the back can still move. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue across the back so I can dry and hold it. So that's that one. Now I just have to, I think what I'll do before I put the door on here is drill the holes in the end. Drill the holes in the end, then cut this piece of wood here to go across and then put a hole in the front. And then I was probably going to use this piece of wood here for the um, at the doorway. Or if I can find I, I don't have anything smaller. I tried to find something yesterday, but I couldn't find anything. Big one. Now I'm going to drill the other hole. See if this one don't blow up on me. Look at that. Much better. This blue one was a lot sharper. Woohoo! You know, in other cultures, they say people who do carpentry are uh, spiritual people because, in order to get the creativity to how to do, what to measure, how to make it all come together, the information doesn't come from the person, it comes from the other side. 
So a lot of cultures, anti, say people who do carpentry work are, um, let's do it this way so I don't fall on the floor, um, are a little bit creative. But one thing I always love is photography and carpentry. So let me just cut this. So what is that? 30, so if I said 11 in a bit. They're like a speed bit, but they're flat. So, and it's the same size, 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna use this, drill a hole, something with torque, twisting power. There we go. That's got in real quick. So it's, it fits in, but it's not gonna stay. So my idea is, I drill a hole in here, I put a screw in, cut the head off, and then use the back end and screw it into here. And then while that's, that'll hold it in place while the glue goes off. I'll show you what I mean. Whoo! Getting warm. The sun, when the sun starts to come down below the roof, it shines underneath and gets me. As you can see here, it's all sunny. It's probably around four o'clock now. So what I'll do now is I'll drill a hole in the end. Mind your fingers. And then I'll get a screw probably the longest one I have in this box. I have two boxes. This one and another one. But this is this this one's for the small piece bits from like tiny tiny up to about inch and a half. Countersunk and pan head. And now what I'll do with the aid of a pair of pliers hold this still and I bought them some hacksaw. I'll cut the end off. Like so. And then screw it in. How's that? 
probably strong enough to leave it like it is. Okay, so that's it. Three, three doors, just let this dry overnight and tomorrow I'll go put it in the Avery. Anyway, so back to what I was saying about YouTube. You know, it's a corporate company and you have to deal with corporate bureaucracy. But I think uh, overall, if you can put up with them censoring your data, you know, it's an amazing tool to communicate with people around the world. So like I said before, here I am in the countryside of Thailand talking to people all over the world. And I know I'm talking to people all over the world because I don't know how many countries there are, but I'm reaching, you know, anywhere there's internet. So, it's almost Christmas. I want to wish you all guys a Merry Christmas again. I really hope you enjoy your time with your families. So look after yourselves. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Do something nice for somebody. Anybody. Not me, but anybody. For, for Christmas. Unexpected. Somebody you don't know yet. So, buckets of blessings. Woo!